All right, so we're here with the legendary Black Thought of the Roots. Yes. All right. <laughs> so I got a few questions for you, short on time. Um, just tell me, how is working with Jimmy Fallon on the show? On the late night show. Late night um, show. It is, um, it, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's as as much fun as I could pro probably have and, you know, s still be in a corporate environment because it's very much, you know, a corporate setting and there's a, a chain of command that's uh, is very different than what I had necessarily been used to. Um, I've been my own boss since I was about 18 or 19 years old. So, um, yeah, just, you know, to have a... An employer, and then you know someone that he works for, and someone that he works for, and you know um, it took a little bit of getting used to, but um, it's still it's lots of fun every day. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've seen that you've been acting, you've done acting, you've done music. What's kind of coming forward for you in the um, future? Like right now, I have uh, I'm doing I'm. Just, Doing some more acting, you know. I got some a couple film projects that are kind of in the can that have yet to come out. Um, I'm branching off this year into the world of design. Okay. You know, uh, trying to get into fashion, like, but just beginning with a few pieces. Okay. I'm doing a, a collaborative effort with a, a shoe company called Creative Recreation, okay. um, and I'm I'm going to be working with uh, an eyewear company um, called. Uh, called Mascot, okay. and um, I'm going to be working with a clothing company, uh, possibly doing a little bit of suiting, uh, a company called Robert Graham, who's a good friend of mine, uh, runs that company, so doing that, uh, I've been working on uh, my autobiography, memoir kind of thing with uh, Maori Carmel Holmes and uh, my good friend Jeff Chang for a few years, so uh, I'm looking to bring that to completion. So all this by 2013? Really, really soon. You know, I'm working on, uh, well, I just started writing a couple weeks ago for uh, an, uh, like a blues album kind of mm -hmm. that I'm, you know, going to be singing on. It's, I, I don't know what it's going to be called, but it might be called The Talented Mr. Trotter. Okay. And um, I've been writing with uh, Raheem Devon and my friend Ray Angry. I'm going to be in the studio this week writing with uh, my friend Tune Day from a band called TV on the Radio. Um, I'm gonna be doing some stuff with Jim James for my morning jacket. It's just like, you know, um, some stuff that I feel like I need to get out that okay. uh, is kind of aside from, you know, the, the New Roots record. So all of those things and, and you know, more. Okay. Now, one more question for you. Yeah. I know it's a little different topic, but as seeing that we're at this event here that's supposed to support Philly and kind of things, how how much does your philanthropy work go into your everyday planning of what events you're going to do, what music you're going to put out? Um, I mean, you know, I don't know that, you know, in in the past, it's been, you know, something that I've taken uh, into that much consideration, but I'm kind of at, like at a crossroads in my life now. You know, very much like since the top of this year, I've just been on, you know, just going ham as far as, uh, you know, my spiritual health and mental well-being and my physical health and my diet and exercise. And um, I think all of that is carrying over into, you know, every other you know area of my life. So um, where I might not have, have been as concerned before, about you know what music I'm putting out and you know how that's going to affect or uh, reflect upon you know my other efforts such as you know grassroots and stuff like that. Like um, as of late, you know, like since New January first, like it, I, it's something that I've really kind of been, been, been focused on. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, this is Blake <laughs> with the uh, Black Thought for the UberUrban.com.